Welcome back to Sideshow Live, and welcome Carrie. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, joining us right now is project manager Kevin Ellis, who there worked is. on this piece. Great job. And this is the first look at the Princess Leia premium format figure. It's the first one that has ever been out anywhere yep. um, out of the office at all. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> so, is the first time um, we've sent it. To well, we what a great job. Well, you guys, I have to, t and I believe me, you know, I'm hypercritical <laughs> of stuff done badly or any which way. This thing is so flawless. It is so impressive. Uh, you guys just killed it. Well, I, I'm so thrilled with what you did. Thank you very much. It's a lot of, a talented team of people put this together. I mean, it couldn't have been done without our sculptor, Matt Black, uh, our painter, Kat Zapine, and Casey Love. Um, it's just a huge effort of love that these people have put into this piece. And look at that picture, you guys it. looking at it. Right? <laughs> yeah. We're on the close-up right now. Yeah. I'd seen that look more than once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about on the screen. <laughs> Fortunately, she didn't have the blaster. We know that Carrie made a lot of jokes about likenesses and, and toys and yep. various um, pieces of art. But can you, uh, can you talk a little bit about her? Well, so Carrie's, you know, when... When we were younger, um, we would sit around and uh, she had made this little film, Star Wars, and no one knew that it was going to turn into what it did, but quickly you did. Uh, we, we started to, it wasn't like that was a slow roll. I mean, it just exploded, but she was less of a collector. My mother actually collected things like this. Wow. Uh, people don't know that. My mother was a late night shopper. <laughs> And she would watch uh, Turner Classic movies, and then when there'd be a lull, or she'd seen that musical 12 times, she would switch over to the shopping channels and things, and so she would frequently buy collectibles. I love that. Now, some of them ended up <laughs> in storage at the ranch, never found a place mm -hmm. like in her house, but other, uh, something like this, I think my mother would have gone nuts for. It is truly a remarkable job. I, I, ha it, I cannot think it's impeccable. I can't think of a better tribute you know a better piece and the way you guys did this truthfully i honestly would i could i don't you know i i, you know, I don't own a piece of this <laughs> i'm saying it because it's true it's an amazing beautifully well done thing uh, i collect the things that are important to me uh and that reflect the moments mm -hmm. you know so this certainly reflects a beautiful moment well, thank you yeah. very much kevin can you tell us a little bit about why this moment was chosen out of all the princess leia's we could have possibly yeah. done i mean it's, it's iconic i mean we've talked about that uh, through the course of even just this kind of discussion it's it is princess leia when you think of princess leia this is it's the epitome you know it's kind the of the attitude yeah, yeah. and it, it just captures that you get that kind of again defiance like we mm -hmm. talked about you get that she's not backing down it's you know, we had gone through a couple variations of the design, and ultimately we kind of came back to this. We're like, no, this is, we want her in the hallway with the gun ready and just, you know, not looking like she's shying away from anything. Yeah, you know? that gun up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll show it to you guys. Yeah, yeah you'll see it. But <laughs> the point the is, is, is that you did, you know, there's, that's the irony of all of these things. There's a million moments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing a three-dimensional thing, it's the most difficult thing in the world to do because you could look at a million pictures, but to transfer something as a yeah. one-dimensional image into a three-dimensional image is very difficult. Mm -hmm. We could find this moment maybe somewhere in the movie, pause, and it would look very much like what you're seeing now on your screens at home. But the, I have to tell you, the three-dimensional image is a whole other thing. And to try to capture that moment uh, in attitude and form uh, is not an easy thing to do. Very, very, very difficult. You guys do it so well. So what do you think Carrie would think of this statue if she were to be able to see it? Well, I know she would like it. I know she would. Because at the end, Carrie really started to have this epiphany that she and the princess were the same thing. And there's a scene in Bright Lights where we're talking to Carrie out on a balcony and she's just come from a Comic-Con. And she's like, I'm the closest thing to her and she is me and we are one. And yet George sort of created the character, but is the character the same thing without her? What actually, how does that all come together? It's, it's sort of miraculous. And, and so reflecting on it 30 years later, mm -hmm. you know, she's like, I am her, you know? So I think anything that would reflect what she was putting into this role, which is what you just said, it's the look in her eye right now. What is yeah. she telling you 
right now with that look. You know, that is a very, not only is that a defiant look, that is the get out of my way because I am coming look. It, it says a lot, you know, and I don't care if you are a big black tall dude with the helmet on, I'm walking right over you. You know, mm -hmm. she didn't care that it was Darth Vader. She didn't care. And, you know, in life, Carrie was very much like that. I, I saw a lot of people mess with Carrie over the years. And as she got older, especially, she was a professional at putting you back in your place. <laughs> oh, my God. You would not have wanted to cross swords or lightsabers or words uh, with Carrie. Of course. Um, well, just a couple of, you know, actual technical information about her. She will be going up for pre-order on May the 4th, of course. Uh, May the 4th be with you. Oh, and you can, very clever. Uh, yeah, and mm. you can RSVP for her right now to be the first to be notified when she goes available. That's at sideshow.com slash princess. You've been seeing it on the bottom of the screen. Um, and uh, You know, there's another point about this that's cool. Mm -hmm. They, I didn't know this until last night, mm -hmm. that, that you guys make the whole band of characters yeah. and they're stand on, they're on a similar platform. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool stuff. I, I think I encourage you guys to check that out because to me, I want her in my little display case, you know, with R2 and C3PO and oh, her yeah. little band of brothers, <laughs> you know, that's just how I feel about it. That but can all happen. <laughs> you can make that happen. <laughs> so um, we're also giving away a pre-order to one lucky fan. So head on over to sideshow.com slash princess during this short break. And when we come back, uh, we will be talking more with Todd and Kevin about Princess Leia and the life of Carrie and Debbie. And also Todd, obviously. Hey. You're part of it. I'm just here to tell it. the story. <laughs> You're watching Sideshow Live. We'll be right back.